Are you a Christian woman entrepreneur looking to increase your income, your impact, and your faith? Are you ready to dream the impossible, knowing that with God, all things truly are possible? It's time to create divine millionaire momentum while keeping God as your CEO. Join me, Allie Porter, your Christian Connector Concierge. And me, Elise Smith, your Christian business strategist, as we unite our shows to bring you a dynamic and faith-infused experience. In this inspiring show, you'll gain access to powerful insights, biblical business strategies, and the real-life stories of Christian women entrepreneurs focused on 10xing their income, their impact, and their faith just like you. Discover how to unlock your full potential, kick that inner dream stealer to the curb, embrace a divine wealth mindset, and reach the goals that God has placed on your heart. Allie and I will guide you on a journey to not only reach your goals, but also strengthen your relationship with God as your ultimate CEO. With divine millionaire momentum, the sky is not the limit. It's just the beginning. Tune in, dream big, and partner with God to make the impossible possible. Your journey to divine success starts here. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Divine Millionaire Momentum Show. My name is Allie Porter, and I am obviously your Christian Connector Concierge. And I am so excited to have Nancy White here, and she is with the Healthy Cells Chick. And I'm so excited for her to talk to us a little bit more about um, how to really manage your business, your life, and self care. But we'll dive into that a little bit later. But I wanted to. Um, just introduce Nancy. So Nancy and I have been friends for a long time. Um, I don't even remember how we met. How did we meet Nancy? Do you remember? I'm sure it was networking. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> I'm sure it was networking. But yes, yeah, so we've met and uh, we became fast friends. And I, I've just loved being able to connect with her. She's a great mentor, teacher. Um, she is a amazing networker. And on top of that, she has her own show here on uh, Win Win Women, where we broadcast this as well. Um, what's the name of your show, Nancy, in case people want to hop on? Healthy Sales Chick. Healthy, healthy Sales Still. Chick. Perfect. Perfect. Um, and so I just love everything that you're doing. And um, you're also uh, a wife, a mom, um, a grandma, all the things. And so with that, I want you to tell the audience here, just a little bit about you and kind of how you got started. I love to hear the story behind the business um, because I know that sometimes we can get caught up in like what we do, but it's really about who we are and how we can help and serve people. And so I would love to kind of hear your story. So if you wouldn't mind sharing, I would love to hear it. Oh, thank you so much, Allie. And first and foremost, I want to celebrate you and Elise and what you are doing as incredible women, wives, mothers, savvy business owners, and how what you're sowing into so many other women. So I just am so grateful and thankful our paths have crossed because you have become a fantastic resource for me and for others that I come in talk, contact with. And so I guess when you talk about in the beginning, well, corporate <laughs> America kicked me out 40 years ago. So Goodness. I was... Um, pregnant to have my son and I was leaving for maternity leave and they said we have to keep your position open because I was signing my name approving things 17,000 times a year and so well, they're going to keep me in my position I was gone Allie two weeks and they said we've got to fill your position <laughs> I said oh fine pay me to stay home and have my baby and I never went back and so I started you know enjoying being a mom and we'll talk about that becoming a mom without instructions but then also, I have been an, uh, a person that has loved inventing things and doing stuff, creativity. So I started this entrepreneurial journey. <laughs> and so it has been 40 years. Um, and again, I love finding ways not only to bring in streams of income, but to share gifts and talents to really empower others, especially women. Mm -hmm. And I've been leading networking groups over 20 years, um, mainly sewing into women and vice versa, because it's mm -hmm. always a relationship. But getting back into the businesses that I've had, I've had some that have failed, I've sold some on this journey. But at the end of the day, my heart and passion is 
in natural prevention and health and wellness mm -hmm. to really help people become strong in their brains, their activities, their muscles, everything it is. Because I believe we're just taking care of these temporary temples, Allie, until we get our permanent maintenance free ones. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh my goodness. I love that. And I love the fact that you, um, that you really made it your mission to help people in that way. And I love the fact too, that the funny thing about us entrepreneurs, and I don't know if you feel this way too, but so often people see, um, you know, success or they see, you know, people doing really well, but they don't really see all the things that we had to do to get there. And one of those things is also managing life, business, family, like all the things. And even now, I mean, even though, you know, your kids are grown and everything, you, um, you're helping, you know, with your husband and just with everything that you have going on and yet you're still here and you still show up and you still serve and everything. And so what would you say has been the catalyst or, or the thing that has helped you to, and we'll, we'll dive into the topic, uh, a little bit deeper, but what would you say is, is one of the things that has helped you to keep going, helping you to learn how to kind of navigate all of that? Well, just like you, I'm a lifelong learner. And when a situation will come up, you know, I'm the kind of personality that I want to fix it. And then if I can't, then I'm going to ask for help. I'm learning that there's areas that I need to ask for help before I try to fix it. Is that mm -hmm. I think that's one of the things as women, you know, we um, we are are great at supporting and serving and doing all those things. Mm -hmm. But I, one of the things I think is tapping into those other resources that we have to be able to support us. Um, but also, I've learned, well, I'm not going to say the hard way, the testing way, <laughs> to, do it, to do it God's way and not to do it my way. And just oh. like I love Elise, you know, she says, and you, you, God is our CEO. He is the one, you know, he's the pilot, whatever, where the stewardesses and all the other <laughs> support, but you know, um, oh yeah, I think it's, you know, putting everything in his hands first and foremost, mm -hmm. instead of doing it and then going, going, excuse me, Lord, would you please fix my mess? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I know. It is so true. That is so true. Wow. Well, in terms of um, self-care, what are your thoughts on that? Like, I know you're you're the expert when it comes to um, to self-care and and treating our bodies like temples and um, just just all of that. Do you want to like kind of expound a little bit on the importance of self-care and how to juggle everything that we have going on? And I think that's up to each individual too, um, Allie. I really believe that we should be good stewards of what we've been entrusted. Yes. <laughs> and and I, are... I believe that that's how it is with everything, right? Mm -hmm. Not just your health, but everything. So everything. yes, I completely everything. agree. Being a good steward. And so, um, but I also do know the difference on running on empty mm -hmm. and just trying to make it through going it's four o'clock in the afternoon. You're going to how many more hours in this day? <laughs> what else do I have to do? <laughs> I think it's really important for women, especially uh, whether they have had children or not, but especially if they have children, is to make sure that we're scheduling in that time. And it just becomes natural, your normal. And when you don't do something, you miss it. Whether mm -hmm. it's your devotions, your quiet time, your exercise, your nutrition, your sleeping, all those types of things. I mean, I will share with women, I'll say, do you know, you have to take a bath anyways, a shower. I said, Put on a candle, put on music, put in some Epsom salts and bubble baths and stuff, you know, and just relax, <laughs> even if it's for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to make sure your self-care becomes that priority, even if it's a little bit, um, mm -hmm. or if somebody's giving you a massage for your birthday, then you schedule that in. So That's a non-negotiable. <laughs> I know. I know. I love my massage therapist. But um, I think self-care it is one of those things that affects everything else in your life, mm -hmm. especially your relationships, um, because we know what it feels like when we get to the very edge and we're going, like, you know, I'm just really ready to, I'm over this. Mm -hmm. But 
as far as, you know, making sure that you're scheduling those appointments to have your little checkups and those things, you know, we do it for everybody else, especially if you have children. And that's one of the things too, if you, you're taking your children to the dentist, you stack your appointments and going, you know what, we're all going to the dentist. Mm -hmm. We're all going to spend this time um, and get those things done. And that comes with scheduling. And I think mm -hmm. communication and scheduling are the utmost in our raising our families in a way that's more pleasant. Oh, yes. Yes. And I loved how you brought in scheduling because most people would say, well, you know, I want it to be spontaneous or I want it to be fun or whatever, but you can schedule something for yourself. You can schedule uh, fun. You know, mm -hmm. you can schedule those things in. And to be honest with you, with the pace of life right now, and, and I don't think it's going to get any better. I, I think, I think we're just, this is, this is life, right? This is the pace of life we're at. And so I feel like as we continue to move forward, like it's almost like you have to schedule it in. Otherwise it won't happen. And everything else will start to take priority over your own self-care. And um, one thing that I like to say is like, if you have a, you know, you have to fill your cup before you can pour out into others. And if you're trying to pour from an empty cup, then you're going to tip it over and it's going to crash, right? It's going to break into a million pieces. And I've experienced that myself many, many, many times. And that is not a way to live. That's not how God wants us to live. He wants us to live with, with abundance, with joy, with fulfillment. And we can't do that if we don't take care of ourselves first. It's kind of like, and I know you've probably um, used this analogy before, but it's kind of like the um, oxy oxygen mask on a plane, right? Like you put yours on first, then you help someone else. Yeah, it is. But everything that we're doing too, while we're raising our children, um, they're watching, they're sponges. Mm. I mean, I love it. My children are grown now and they can remember a lot of things that I don't remember, <laughs> but, <I'm, laughs> but, but they're the good things too. They, yeah. you know, and so teaching moments are huge, um, mm -hmm. especially with children in I suggest um, for families that they meet like on Sunday afternoon, just for a few minutes, Allie, and just mm -hmm. look at the week coming up. Let the youngest one go first. I mean, you know, they got to be able to talk and stuff. I mean, but anyway, <laughs> sharing about what they're, what's coming up for their week, what do they want to do? What are they looking forward to? And just go around in that way. Everybody is communicating. Everybody's important. Everybody is contributing. And then even when it's meal planning and even when it's preparing meals, you're teaching those young, precious children on how to make good, better, best choices. Why we're going to make those good nutritional choices, especially the little guys, because they're going to become strong. And if they're in sports and, you know, they're going to be able to be refueled and all these things and everything that they're doing now is going to affect their life down the road. And so but when you teach these young, precious children on, again, the benefits of what sleep does, why do you sleep? You know, it's your recovery time. When you can use that about that, your cells are regenerating, you know, your cortisol levels are going down and what that means. And, you know, it depends on their age too. Mm -hmm. But then also when they help with meal preparation and, you know, why we're doing this. And I've heard moms say, my children will only eat blah, 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 blah. And I'm sitting there going, and who's buying it and who's bringing it in? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you, you know, so you yep. want to make sure that your children are smart and they, you know, and they, you know, I know one of the first words they learned was why, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and they're always asking why, because that brain is always going and learning and it's inquisitive and it is, it's reinforcing not only for them, but for us. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and I know it, it's it. I tell people that women homemaking engineers are a million dollar job with zero pay. It's like, but mm -hmm. it is still an honor and a privilege, you know, to be able to raise children, especially in blended families in this day and time. And that's another whole subject we could always talk about some other time too. But you know, um, you want to make children know and feel that they are valued, that they're important, what they have um, to offer is so unique. They're not being compared to their brothers and their sisters. And, you know, um, and they say, well, so-and-so got to do that or whatever. And so, you know, well, sure. 
your your our little margins are getting wider and wider as you know you continually grow and evolve mm -hmm. and we earn that respect so we earn the privileges you know mm -hmm. it's, it's not just um entitlement yeah yeah i love that i love that and it's interesting um i loved what you said about well, first of all, I, first of all, I love what you're talking about with sitting everyone down and and scheduling things, and then also, you know, giving kids um, the right uh, expectations, and and as they grow, you know, the more responsibilities, that kind of thing. But I also loved how you said um, that I can't remember the phrase that you used, but basically how we are doing so much and we're not getting paid a cent to do it. We're homemaking I, engineers. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. And I feel like for a long time, that was really hard for me to be completely honest. That was hard for me to not um, be recognized for the work that I was doing because mm -hmm. I'm raising these humans and it's just like so hard. It's harder than work is, you know? And, um, and yet I really, in those moments, um, Number one, that's why self-care was so important because that was my payment was allowing myself to have that bubble bath, to get that massage every once in a while, to go on that walk, to, you know, have that time of reflection and filling my own cup, doing my Bible study, you know, um, uh, whatever that looks like for you, you know, but just really, uh, pouring into myself so that I could pour out and, um, and since I've started looking at it like that, I really feel like it's helped my kids to, to see me be healthy in that way. Um, and then it's teaching them to do the same as they're growing up too. And so you don't realize the impact that you're having by you just showing up and doing those things because they're watching everything that you do. Especially another area is exercise because women find they go, I just don't have time. <clears throat> well, incorporate it. You know, there's a lot of great schedule it. <laughs> I, schedule, yeah. schedule. I mean, you know, even when it gets to be winter cold months, there's a lot of great things on YouTube in some places that are free. And mm -hmm. you just, you know, push the furniture back or whatever and just, you know, everybody just do it together and set a timer, whatever it is. That way they're getting their um, extra energy out and you're <laughs> you're moving it so you don't lose it and you're also increasing your energy so that's a great benefit you know they're getting rid of theirs and you're getting more of yours oh yeah oh totally and I love how it just kind of works together you know <laughs> it does that's how it's yeah. supposed to be yeah. well I have a quick question for you on um like your business, like what, how do, how are you able to help people in this space of self-care of, you know, being healthy? I love your brand, the healthy cells chick. Um, how is it that you are blessing and serving others? Well, one of the main things I love to do, Allie, is when I have a conversation with someone, I want to find out all the things that they're doing for their self-care those things that are good and that we celebrate the things they are already doing and then finding out, you know, from them, what areas do they need to have strengthened or tweaked or whatever, whether it's their brain, making sure we're keeping our brains nourished or mm -hmm. sleeping well, um, mm -hmm. making those good, better, best choices. If they've had some health challenges, I love helping cancer thrivers because we get new bodies every six to eight years. They were always regenerating and you might as well make a new good one. And it's not any one thing. It is that's nurturing that mind, that body, and that spirit. So it really starts with that conversation, Allie. And we find out the areas, again, that they're doing well, supporting that, celebrating that. And if that needs to be tweaked a little bit or if there is an area. I mean, stress is associated with the six top killers in this country. And if you oh, can believe. find those natural ways to be able to diffuse it, either we manage stress or it manages us. For anxiety, especially in children, when we're teaching, you know, about the five senses on how to tap into those five senses, there's a lot of natural things and ways to do. So it always starts with a conversation and it always starts with celebrating what they're doing. Wow. Hmm. That's so good. That's so good. And I will say, um, I have loved being able to learn from you. Um, 
I feel like, and we always have stuff to learn from each other. Right. But I, especially, um, since we met, I just, I just felt this like camaraderie and this like feeling of, um, just connection of like, wow, you know, Nancy has so much wisdom. She has so much knowledge. She's been around the block a lot. <laughs> like she knows, she knows lots of things and I can learn so much from, from her. And so, um, that's really, um, what you do is you, you help people to, um, become a better version of themselves in all, all the areas, you know, um, specifically in your health. And I love the fact that, um, that even though, you know, you're, you're wiser than I am, you're a little bit older than I am. Like so many people, when they start getting older, they're just like, well, that's it. It's like all she wrote, like we're done, you know? And I love the fact that you are not like that. You're like, no, we, like you were saying, like we re, um, we regenerate, like our cells regenerate every, what did you say? Eight years. Is that what it was? Eight years. Six to eight years. And so we can just keep going, you know, and I just love that. And I, I am learning how to better steward my health, better steward my time, my, um, my self-care, just all of it. And I'm just so grateful because I do feel like I've learned a lot from you in the last couple, well, last year or so that we've been connected. Um, but I really do highly recommend Nancy, like it, so what you'll want to do is you can go to, we'll have the, the link to, um, to Nancy's, uh, directory listing inside our millionaire momentum tribe. And you can find all the information about her, about her services, what she offers, her links to, um, you know, her website, her bio, like all of it. Um, but connect with her because she will just want to have a conversation with you. She'll want to like get to know you and see how she can serve and help you and, and make that genuine connection. And that's, that's truly why I feel so connected to you, Nancy, is because there was no like alternative. I'll, I can't even talk today. I'll alternative alternative mode of uh, no yeah. yeah you know what I'm trying to say there was no like like um feeling of she was trying to pitch me or sell me on anything it was like she's trying to get to know me and, and better better serve me and that's that's that is how we're supposed to do our businesses and and marketplace ministry and so um reach out to Nancy she'll definitely be able to connect you with all kinds of amazing things so um the last thing I want to share um Nancy and two questions that I want to ask you before we close today is um the obviously the name of the show is divine millionaire momentum. And, um, and so my first question is, what does that mean to you? And I really believe it means that we're going to be the very best that we can be. We're so valuable and we're going to sow that into other people. When you talk about millionaire momentum, it's not one person. It's the community that you and Elise are growing and building and it's every single golden nugget that is part of it. And it continually grows and evolves and it keeps moving forward. And you and I both know for money, because I believe in physical and financial health. Big time. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. <laughs> Me too. And for money, it has to continually move to grow and just to, you know, increase in value and interest. And I believe in different streams of income too, Allie. So the millionaire momentum is a mindset to me of coming together, collaborating, doing these things for the good for everybody and everybody benefits. It's just like win-win women. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's a win-win situation. And so when you know the value of what it is with all these incredible women coming together, that is where the momentum is. And you or do an amazing job with your networking and the things that you're doing, you're always providing ways for women again to grow and expand. Thank you. Thank you. I love that. I love that. And that, that really is the mission, you know, and, and I, and I, that's why you need to network. That's why you need to connect with people because, because as you do it together, that's what creates the momentum, you know, and, and it's not just you doing it by yourself, you know? And, um, and so that's why I love being connected to you because we can do all kinds of amazing things together. Um, and then my last question is how does God show up in your life and business? Oh my goodness. I know people used to always tell me, you should write a book. You should write a book. You're a walking encyclopedia. 
And I used to go, no, I don't want to write a book. I don't mind talking. And so, <laughs> That's so, how I am too. <laughs> yeah. And so like yeah. four books later, I'm going, <clears throat> you don't tell God what you don't want to do. But I will tell you that <clears throat> keeping him first all through the day, the thank yous, the praises, the all these things um, I have seen, I, even healing my computer by bringing in the right kind of people, you know, We've all had that dreaded black screen sometimes. And we're sort of going, <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm laying hands on and praying about it. <laughs> and then, you know, you find those resources that can be able to help you. But mm. when we know, when we put our head down on the pillow at nighttime before we go to sleep and we reflect back over the day, and we're grateful for all those amazing things. And we're sitting there going, I didn't get everything done on my, my list, mm. but I saw God show up in so many different areas. And those divine connections, those paths crossing. Um, and I will tell you, I'm a great example. I had met this beautiful um, elder attorney about mm -hmm. a decade ago, um, networking. And I called Kathy the other day just to talk to her and go through some questions, just like you were talking about. I'm, um, I'm a caregiver for my husband now. At 71, I thought, this is not the quite way I thought the end of my life was going to be, but I'm sitting there going, your way or no way, Lord. But anyways, mm -hmm. but I talked with Kathy for an hour and a half, mm -hmm. and she didn't charge me a penny. And wow. I will tell you, that is the beauty of having God show up, networking, finding those resources, and being able to sow into each other, because we know we're going to pay it forward. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring that, that goodness and that kindness what God has given us to continue to share with others without ulterior motives or false intentions. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. And I do. I love Kathy too. She's awesome. She's another great connection, right? Like, mm -hmm. and I think that as we continue to move forward in this journey of life and, and, you know, help having our businesses be our ministry and just re really being able to serve and help people the way we can, mm -hmm. um, just remembering that God wants us to be, wants us to love ourselves. He wants us to, um, to connect with him. And I think that part of self-care is connecting with him and keeping him at the center of everything that you do. And so, um, I'm just so grateful that you've been able to be on the show with us today. You've been able to share your wisdom, your insight. Um, please, if you're listening to this, please reach out to Nancy. You will be so grateful that she's in your life. And, um, I, I just can't say enough good things about you, Nancy. I'm just so in awe of everything that you're doing and, and everything that, you know, God is, is helping you to create. And then also, um, just your example of, you know, even though, you know, you are a caregiver for your husband now, and that's not the way that you plan to spend your, your, you know, um, the rest of later your life, years, um, later years, later. your later years. Yes. It, you are doing it with a cheerful heart and, and a, and a mind, uh, clear and, and it's because you have taken care of yourself. It's because you have given yourself self-care. And so I just love that. You're a walking example to all of us. <laughs> well, thank you. And, and I want to encourage the women, especially give yourself some grace and space. Yeah. We are not perfect. We don't have wings yet or whatever. And so when we make mistakes and yes, we all do and mm -hmm. we do it and all of a sudden we go, oh, why did I do that again? Or why did I do <laughs> say that or whatever? That's where forgiveness comes in. And that's where yes. grace and space comes in. And, you know, don't beat yourselves up and, Focus, it takes seven positives for every one negative we either say to ourselves or we hear. So just remember that when you're doing that negative self-talk, zip it. <laughs> just stop it and just, you know, even if you have to go through the beauty of, you know, seven beautiful words, just do those positive things to overcome the negatives. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. And, and, uh, it, it really does come, come down to forgiveness and grace. And mm -hmm. we're never going to be perfect. We weren't meant to ever be perfect, but just mm -hmm. being able to rely on our savior and being able to rely on God, it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being part of this amazing show today. It's been such a, a pleasure and we can't wait to have you back again, Nancy. So thank you so, so much. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank so you, thank Nancy. you so much. Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us on this inspiring journey of divine millionaire momentum. Don't miss out on connecting with other Christian ladypreneurs and building valuable relationships. Join our free virtual networking events every Thursday at m2networking.com. Ready to take your success to the next level? Be sure to book a call with us to explore the incredible resources, tools, and opportunities that we have to empower your journey at m2networking.com forward slash call. Remember, with God, all things are possible. Until next time, stay inspired, believe in Christ, and receive the wealth and prosperity that God has for you.